Hey everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video in my personal art diary series. This series has really become so amazing and I'm so thankful to all of you. I can't believe the amazing response and support from all of you. And I'm really overwhelmed by that and I'm just so, so grateful. So thank you for that. Today I have another video on one of the topics that was shared with me in my Facebook group. I have a new Facebook group. I've mentioned it already before. It's called Karen Tamir and Friends Creative Space. And I'm linking that below in the description area. And I asked in the group about different topics that people might want to hear about. And this is the next one that somebody commented about and I want to talk about. It. And all of these are very sensitive topics that people really feel like nobody really talks about in our creative community and that it's important to do. So I'm going to read you the next one, which was by Michelle. And I'm going to read it just because I want to get the wording right. And it is the pressure of buying and then feeling overwhelmed when you're having the when you get the products. So I find that this is a very big topic. A lot of us in our society are feeling the pressure of buying and wanting the latest and the greatest. And it is so difficult to kind of put down that temptation. When we see all these products coming out and not only are we overwhelmed with the amount of products and choosing which ones we should buy, we are also usually buying more than we need to or have to. And I recently made a video about how to choose what products to buy after some of these creative shows. And you can go watch that video on my channel. I will link that as well below. But it's really hard because you're seeing all the amazing things that people can do. But when you actually get the product, you're totally overwhelmed because your results sometimes are not the same as what you saw online, what you saw in a video, what you saw in a demo at Creativation, and you completely are down on yourself. And that is not fair on you. And you should not ever feel that way. I'm telling you, you shouldn't. And I'll tell you why. The person that is doing that demo and that's showing that product has way more experience and has worked with that product way more times than you have. In order for us to get to the level of that person, we need to practice and experiment many, many times. And we need to fail many, many times while using it. And that's the message that really should be, and this is all my personal opinion. Again, I always have to say this because I don't want you guys to think I'm some kind of like, uh, you know, like telling you what to do. But truly, this is my personal opinion it has worked for me. The only way that it has worked for me is that I had to experiment with the products that I buy. But having said that, we do not need all the products that are out there and we should not feel guilty that we're not buying. And that's why I want you to follow that other video because I was able to separate my the things that I really wanted from the things that I wanted but I don't need to buy. That my must-haves and my wants are completely different. And if you follow some of the even advice that some people gave like waiting a little bit or writing down what you really want and then separating things, making lists of what's important. There were many other many other tips there. It will really help you not feel that buyer's remorse, not have that buyer's guilt after you buy things. And truthfully, one of the really important aspects of it was that people said that unless they have five ideas, even if the ideas don't come out as they want it, but if unless they have five or ten or whatever a number of ideas for that specific product, they're not going to buy it. And this year, although I am buying stuff, I'm buying much less than I bought in previous years because I really don't feel that I need everything. I really want to start using old product and things that and be more sensitive also to people that cannot afford to buy even one of those products. And I know a lot of you have approached me about that and I do want to address that. And it's something that I know must be addressed, especially because there's so many of you that live in countries where you 
the products are not readily available and you have to kind of find ways to create without buying products. And I want to, and I've already been challenged to do that and I will definitely, this is one of the things that I want to do and talk about. This is another topic on the list about not being able to buy products. But specifically today I'm talking about being able to buy products and then feeling guilty that you've bought them and either not use them because you're too afraid to put yourself out there and use them or because you've used them and you don't like how things turn out. For the first one, the only advice I can give you is that if you bought a bunch of products and you don't know and you don't want to use them because you're afraid, the only way to do that, to do something about that is that just get your art journal or get your card or whatever it is that you create and just sit down and do it, which was really important. It's my encouragement video. It was my first encouragement video. And I really believe that if you sit down and just experiment, eventually things will come easy and you will just move on with all these things. But if it's the second one where you things are not turning out the way you want to because they're not turning out like you saw the demo or do it, then you know what? It's not it's not important. It's not that it's not important. You should like get over that. And why I say that is because your art will never be like anybody else's. It should only be your own way. Your own art should be the way that you express it. And maybe you'll discover some new ways of using that product by experimenting. Don't be afraid to experiment and to try. So on one side, if you're already buying it, and this we're talking about specifically about buyer's remorse, not about not being able to buy. That's a different topic altogether that I will definitely address. But if you're buying and you're overwhelmed, let's say you bought a bunch of products and you don't know what to do, then what you should do is put them away and take out only one product at a time. Experiment with that. Take that out and put, the, put that one away and then take another one out. The other option is not to buy them all at once. Products don't usually go out of style. They stay and you can buy them later on, especially at the beginning. So some of them maybe sell out, but they'll come back again. So if you make the list of the one that you want the most, buy that one first. Then go ahead and buy that one and then you go and buy a second one. However, if you live in a country that shipping is really expensive and you need to buy a bunch of products all at once, and you are overwhelmed, overwhelmed with them, then just keep them in the box. Just take one of them at a time and experiment with them. And don't worry about the results. It doesn't really matter that it doesn't turn out the same as somebody else, the same as Tim Holtz, the same as even me. Don't worry, it doesn't turn out the same as anybody that you see out there because we all have our styles. My art doesn't turn the same as Tim's. It doesn't turn the same as Tiffany's. It doesn't turn... Uh, it doesn't turn the same as any of you, but you all have a unique way of creating and experimenting. And you never know some of those mistakes that you make that you call failures that you don't like might be a blessing in disguise because you might kind of create something that nobody has done before. Sometimes those are creative opportunities. So instead of putting yourself down and being overwhelmed with all the stuff, and if you are able to buy be grateful that you're able to buy and use that stuff. But make the list of the stuff you want the most. And go pull out your old products too. Combine them with these ones. Don't be afraid to pull your old products out. Just because they're not the newest and greatest, it doesn't mean they're not great. Some of the greatest products that I love are pretty old. But I still use them and love them so much. So challenge yourself. The way I challenged you before to get yourself to get a product out that is five years old or more challenge yourself to do that and don't be overwhelmed with all the products it's okay to buy products you're lucky that you can buy those products be happy but if you're overwhelmed and are not happy with the results use one at a time go ahead and create something that makes you happy don't worry how it's turning out and if you, don't, if you don't like it, don't share it. If you're afraid that somebody will say, oh, that's not nice, don't share it. Just continue challenging yourself until you find how you like, how it turns out well. This is why I love art journaling because you can just turn the page and start a new one and continue uh, challenging yourself. So that's why I like that because it's not expensive to do that. Don't worry about buyer's remorse. It's not worth it. It's not worth your stress. It's not worth overwhelming over it. 
because be happy that you can buy because there's so many people that cannot so i hope this helps you i try my best to use everything that i buy and if i don't then i try to give it away so if there's old products that you don't want and you have that buyer's remorse then maybe go and donate them to somebody or sell them but if you donate them you're going to make somebody else happy that might really want them or might really need them so i hope this helps if you like my video please give it a thumb, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope you join my facebook group where we're all supportive and want to show you the support of all the stuff that you are creating i hope you ins get inspired by my videos and you share that stuff on the group and feel free to follow me on instagram or tag me on instagram if you create something inspired by one of these videos so thank you so much for joining me today and if you have any topics that you want me to talk about that are sensitive and that are personal, then go ahead and leave a comment in the description area and I'll be able to add that to my list of topics that I can talk about. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.